Cardinals. My name is Amelia and I'm your host for today. This show is called Cardinals and Hearts Getting Coffee. Our first episode is with President Evans, so I'm super excited to see how it goes. So let's go while I go pick him up. Hey, Dr. Evans. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Even better. Right, I'm like, I swear I have my license. So we're here for the first episode of Cardinals and Carts. How do you feel starting off the first episode? First episode, I'm honored. Yeah. Thanks for having me. And it's, it's the first, first day of yes. school. First day of school. New of year. It's very yeah. exciting. I just want to reiterate, I'm so thankful that you came here to talk to me today, have a little chat with some coffee. Yeah, thank and you. And let's get started. So what's your go-to Starbucks order? When it's going to be okay. 105 degrees, I'll go with the iced coffee, otherwise, I'll have something hot. Can't complain, I love iced coffee. Uh, today I got a little dirty chai with some oat milk. Chai's wonderful. Yeah, for sure. So I hear that you love music. What, what, what genre do you like? When they see my phone and they look at the list, they're kind of shocked at the variety that's on there. I, I literally listen to everything. Every time people look at my playlist, they're like, these songs do not match at all. But I didn't expect to see that. Yeah, yeah, right? it's, yeah. it's great. All decades. You have a little variety. So I recently learned that we both appreciate Japanese culture. Oh, so do you want to talk about that for a little bit? You know, I, I, I went to Japan at a pretty young age, 15 years old, spent my sophomore year of high school there, then majored in Japanese, went back to Japan, studied abroad my junior year, have kept, kept up with it, did a master's in Asian studies. Uh, can't get enough of it, wish I could get there every year, which I was until COVID, so I hope to get back soon. That's great. Honestly, I want to go to Japan, so that is definitely number one on the list. So that's exciting to hear that you got that opportunity. So one of the things I particularly like about Japanese culture is anime. Okay. Do you know any animes or do you watch anime? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do. I know quite a lot about anime, actually. Really? I taught Japanese culture for about six years, and I usually use some anime in the class, it'd be very hard to talk about Japanese culture without talking about anime. Yeah. I would use Hayao Miyazaki's Spirited Away. Oh, you know, I love. Miyazaki's incredible. I love Studio Ghibli. Yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to visit. I've never been, but apparently I'm, going to, to Tokyo, you can, you can take a good tour. Yeah. I'd love to do that sometime. A cardinal told me okay. that you speak Japanese. Could you possibly not, say not something for the, as I used to. <laughs> for the viewers? First day of school, let's say, Cool. You don't sound like you need practice. That sounds uh, pretty good. Let's talk a little bit about your college experience. Um, so, do you have any specific memories from college that truly resonate with you? A lot of memories. Yeah. And I think you know, part of the reason I love higher education so much and is, is the profound impact that it had on me in my life. I met my wife there. Yep. Very good memory yeah. of that and, and definitely impacted my life in incredibly wonderful ways. But I also converted to Catholicism during my college years and had the influence of a really amazing professor and Father Paul Chaffee. Yeah. Those experiences I think inside and outside of the classroom with this man who, you know, I, I felt like he was putting so much time and energy into me and then I realized he was doing the same thing with all these other students yeah. and just you know appreciate that and that experience. Yeah, for sure. I would definitely say those bonds and relationships with professors play so much in your college experience. I was thinking if you have one relationship like that, I think yeah. you're very fortunate in, in a college university setting. But what I see here at, at Incarnate Word is students having multiple oh, experiences sure. like that. You know, it's not just one professor, mm -hmm. it's multiple professors. And I think that's one of the things that makes us really unique yeah. and, a, and a really special community. Yeah, even my whole department, I can say, truly cares about me. In communication? Mm -hmm. yeah. So who's, who's had the most profound impact on you while you're I would definitely say there's two, um, Dr. Gwen. Okay. 
And then the other one would be Dr. Um, Zazil, mm -hmm. great professor, and our relationship is endlessly growing. What are your personal recommendations for students that want to get involved here on campus? And not to sound cliche or like a Nike commercial, but kind of just do it. Yeah. I think it's that first step, contacting someone, finding out what you're interested in, finding out what's available, mm -hmm. asking around, and then just go ahead and get involved. But there's so many opportunities, and whether it's organizations or positions of leadership to get involved. Um, I'm an admissions ambassador. Yeah. A flight mentor. Flight mentorship, yeah. Mm -hmm. And a graduate yeah. assistant. Yeah. What do you do in your free time? In my free <laughs> <laughs> When I have free time, um, I'll hang out with friends. I obviously, you know, I like anime, so like a lot of times when I go back home to Houston, there'll be like anime nights that I'll go to or K pop. I, I like K pop, so I'll oh, go yeah. to K pop nights. So, what makes UIW special? The people. Certainly, I mean, we were talking about faculty and, and how faculty are, are truly invested in their students and their yeah. students' lives, but I think that's across this campus. Your experience when you step on this campus, you immediately feel the sense of community, and when you feel that sense of community, it makes you feel as though you belong here. Isn't well. that a great feeling? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the way it should be. Yeah. What are your hopes for the UIW students for this year? Well, I think it's maybe every year, so you think about um, I think it was Mark Twain who said they're the two most important days in your life are the day that you're born and the day that you find out why. Mm -hmm. And my hope is that for all of our students that they, that they if, if not find out why while they're at Incarnate Word, yeah. that there's at least that direction to get to that point of knowing why. But I hope that that transformation that occurs here is truly life-giving, life-fulfilling, yeah. and that our students really find out who they are and find out why it is that they were born. What, what is it that's in store for them in their, in their vocation? I just want to say thank you for coming here and having a little bit of coffee with me and a chat, and I appreciate your time. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. I wish we could do more of this. Hope you of enjoy your chai. Happy New Year. <laughs>